21 seconds. 0.38. That was so hard. I'm gonna need a minute. PRB. all foggy and sweaty dang it oh my god okay good morning you guys it's like nine o'clock i just finished my merch challenge yesterday was memorial day and i spent the weekend with some of my friends at the lake so i didn't have time to work out yesterday because we got back pretty late but yesterday was memorial day so today i thought i would do a workout that the merch challenge is actually dedicated in memory of a fallen Navy SEAL lieutenant. If you've ever seen the movie Lone Survivor, it has him and his troop in it. It's based on the mission that they were on and it's based on the heroic actions of him and his team. I don't know, I just thought today I would do the Murph Challenge just in memory of those who have lost their lives fighting for this country and those who are currently fighting or have served in the military. Um, I just wanna say a quick thank you. If you guys haven't worked out today, highly suggest you try the Murph Challenge. See if you can beat my time. I thought I did pretty good, actually. I don't actually know, but those pull-ups, man. Okay, so today, I'm really happy I got my workout in super early because I actually kind of have a lot to do today. I have to edit a vlog and then I have to go grocery shopping for like the rest of this week, kind of meal prep. And I'm gonna give you guys a few of my favorite easy, healthy meals because I've been getting a lot of DMs about like, I wanna start eating healthy, but I don't really know where to start like in regards to food. So I'm gonna kinda show you like my grocery list, like the staple items that I do in a grocery haul that pretty much can go in any healthy meal. Look at how red my face is. <sighs> But like, trust me, I'm not like into like cooking like very fancy meals. Like if I can throw it together really, really quick, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I need to sit down, write it, think about what I'm gonna do, and then we can go grocery shopping. Yeah, but now I need to sit down and write my grocery list because I need to get that done ASAP because it's already 10.45 and I want to like knock that out because I still have to edit a video. That takes a very long time, so. But first, I wanna show you. This weekend at the lake, I literally was like walking down the steps into the lake and the steps were like so slippery because they were covered in moss. Literally, slip, hit the side of like, the border of the lake has like wood on it. Literally, both of my legs went up, hit that. I'm not kidding you. I might be dramatic sometimes and I know that but I literally thought I broke both of my shins at one time. Like I legit thought that for like five minutes. I was like, oh my God, they're broken, I can't walk. I feel like they don't really look that bad, but oh, my legs are hairy, sorry. Okay, right here, you can kind of see like it's all right there. And then this one, you can see it kind of got cut, but it's like literally all right there. It hurt so bad. I'm surprised I haven't bruised more, but I'll keep you updated, don't worry. Okay, I showed you guys in my last video that I got a little planner like this for my groceries. Okay, so what I like to do to like mix things up, is so I literally just go on Pinterest and I'll type in like easy paleo recipes. And I'll just pick one for every day and then I write all the ingredients. Oh, also, okay, I really wanna tell you guys about this case I just got. It's from Caseify and it's made of like reusable, reusable materials. So it's actually really, really good for the environment. You guys know I'm trying to go like all healthy in all aspects. So I really loved this about them. And you can also customize them, maybe get like your name or initials. And they're just so, so cute. The other ones I got, I got a black one. I got KR put on it. And then this one is so cute. It says, Real cute, real tough. Just like me. Psych! <laughs> just kidding. And then this one's like really cute and simple. It just has like the paint swatches. So I like that one too to like mix it up. But also these cases are military grade. So uh, that's fantastic for me because I literally drop my phone probably like six times a day. I'm not kidding you. I'm so clumsy and so bad with it. That should tell you how awesome these cases are. See that little bumper? See that? Ain't no cracks around here, that's right. If you go to caseify.com slash Kylie Ross, you can actually get 20% off your order today. So if you wanna match with me and get one of these super cute cases, 
This one's probably my favorite, I think. I don't know. But these ones are really like classic and cute. <sighs> kind of just depends on what you're feeling. Ooh, shrimp taco bowls. That looks good. And then I have a spaghetti squash that I didn't use last week and I wanted to do like a spaghetti squash mac and cheese kind of deal. I think that's it. So let's head to the grocery store. Okay, I don't think you guys understand what all goes into making a video like that because you gotta film and today the grocery store was really packed for some reason and it was just, I don't know, it was more embarrassing than usual. But I got a lot of good stuff. This is just like my regular grocery store. It's not like a health food grocery store. Um, so they didn't have a nutritional yeast and they didn't, I couldn't find habanero sauce. I don't even know where to find that. So I think I'm gonna run to Whole Foods and go get it there because I know they'll have it. And then I'll show you what I got at home and I'll show you how to make a very easy, healthy meal. <music> okay, I just got home from the grocery store. That took me about an hour and a half, which is kind of long for me. But I went to two places, so that's what I'm blaming it on. Sorry. But I want to give you guys a tour of what I got. Okay, a tour. Oh my god. I mean a haul of what I got. So this is for Bronson. He wants some ground turkey and freaking corn. He could eat corn with like every single meal. He's so weird. And then we got some organic eggs. Just some carrot chips. I like to put cut these up and put them in stir fry. Raspberries and then this little nut mix has like cranberries, cashews, almonds, blueberries I think in it. It's so good, love that for a good healthy snack. Of course, Topo Chico, a little twist of grapefruit. Mm -mm -mm. Some arugula and baby spinach for my salads. Four bell pepper because we go through these really, really fast. Um, two things of mushrooms, one for Bronson, one for me. Um, a bag of Brussels sprouts, two heads of uh, broccoli because broccoli is like super easy to cook and just throw into anything just to get like some veggies in your meal. And then four freaking huge, okay, that one's not that big. Huge avocados, like look how big that is. Are you kidding me? And then two onions, we needed some new toothpaste. So I got this one. Um, Frozen shrimp, I love to get frozen shrimp every week because it's a good source of lean protein and they're super easy to cook and just throw into stir fry or, or throw in tacos, whatever you want. Um, and then I got, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got this yellow bird habanero sauce, which it calls for this in the mac and cheese that I'm gonna make. Look at this, it's a freaking lemon saver. So it's kind of like my avocado one. You just cut it up like half a lemon and you can save it in these. So I got that. Chili powder and onion powder because I put those two in pretty much anything I make. A bag of lemons for lemon water in the morning and like salad dressings. And then I got lemon juice and lime juice just because I use so much of it. And then almond flour also for the mac and cheese and then nutritional yeast also for the mac and cheese. Oh, it's so aesthetically pleasing, I'm not even kidding you. I'm not gonna lie to you. The hardest thing about living with Bronson and his roommates is the freaking fridge space. 
And like, that's something that I am like very OCD about. Like I really want to keep it like nice and aesthetically pleasing and filled with greens and veggies and you know, health stuff. But when you live with four boys, just gotta let some things go. You know what I mean? They actually cleaned the fridge the other day and I was so proud of them because it actually looked pretty good. Like, it's not even, it's not even that full anymore, so. If you're new to this whole like healthy eating thing, I know that it can be intimidating. I really do believe that if you plan everything out and you like prepare, that's gonna make it a lot easier and then you're gonna form habits and then it's just gonna be like second nature to you to like write a grocery list and kind of plan out your meals each week. I know it seems like a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it and it'll become like second nature to you once you form the habit. Yeah, but what I'm doing is I'm just prepping a few um, vegetables and then putting them in Tupperware because if I do that, when I'm making dinner, it's a lot easier for me to like just grab the thing of broccoli and throw it in rather than like taking the time to cut it up. I don't know. It's not really meal prepping, but just like getting the vegetables ready so it's easier to put them in your meal makes a big difference for me personally because if it's not like easy, I don't necessarily want to do it. Also, I like my broccoli like super small. Like I don't like when you get like a big piece of broccoli. So I literally cut them into like tiny trees, like literally tiny tree, tiny tree. extra allergic to onions. Okay, it's much later now and it is time for dinner. I'm starving, it's 8 p.m. and I wanna cook something healthy and I know exactly what I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook spaghetti squash, healthy mac and cheese. I am so excited. So let's get all the ingredients out. First, we're gonna need our spaghetti squash. Kinda weird looking, I know. I'm gonna add some broccoli and some red bell pepper and onion into it. And then we needed the habanero by Yellow Bird. And then some nutritional Whoa. yeast. And it says coconut flour, but I like almond flour better than coconut flours. And that's it, I think. Let me double check. Spaghetti squash mac and cheese. Oh, onion powder, garlic powder, soy sauce. Oh, I forgot a lot. Non-dairy milk. Some Dijon mustard. I'm adding this in just because I like everything spicy, but some jalapenos. I'm using liquid aminos, onion powder, and garlic powder. And that's it. That's all you need. What? Dude, this is impossible. How the heck do you get, oh. Hey. There we go. Now it's time to make the cheese sauce. Johnson. So we need a cup and a half of non-dairy milk. Four tablespoons Dijon mustard. One, two, three, four. That's about right. Two tablespoons of habanero sauce. That's so hot. Good, it's just hot. Oh my God, I burned my tongue off. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Three fourths of a cup of nutritional yeast. Oh, that's almond flour. Oops, three fourths of a cup, that's kind of a lot. You want it really, really cheesy, okay? Ain't that right, baby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two tablespoons of almond flour. Okay, I think I put too much soy sauce, but it's actually really good and it's really freaking spicy. But it's actually good, I like it. It's kind of not necessarily cheesy, but like, it's still good, you know what I'm saying? Okay. 
Okay, that actually looks so good. Time for the taste test. It's pretty good actually. Obviously, don't be expecting like freaking Velveeta, but I like it. I actually think this is really good. The cheese sauce is pretty dang good. If you guys try it, let me know in the comments. All right, well, I'm gonna end this vlog here, but I hope this vlog was helpful a little bit and that you guys enjoyed seeing what I go grocery shopping for and how I make healthy eating easier for myself. Yeah, I love you guys and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank <laughs> you.